For some, it's a name, a selling point, a way to market a home, a street, or a community. But for the last several months, Sandra Dickerson has been asking, what does the name mean to you? When you think of the word plantation, what comes to mind, particularly for uh, people of color and black people, is um, the ancestors, the enslaved people that worked on plantation. Dickerson started a petition that's continuing to gain some steam. Her effort is part of a larger nationwide movement to address the use of place names that have a questionable history, from Florida to Rhode Island to the Low Country to the Queen City. There's Oakland Plantation Park. There's Plantation uh, Park Apartments, Belvedere Lake Plantation, Langtree Plantation, Sardis Plantation. One of the places making the change is Plantation Estates, a retirement community in Matthews. Officials tell us on Tuesday they'll be unveiling a new name, Matthews Glen. But within a short distance are neighborhoods that do have the plantation name. Well, even 26 years ago, the the plantation is a hesitation of silence. Edward Lee lives in one of those neighborhoods and told us of the weird interactions he had with people on the phone when he said he lived in a plantation community. I totally understand why people would need to change it, want to change it, so uh, to another name. Others we spoke with off camera say they like the names and don't necessarily see the racial connotation it has. Dickerson says her online petition, though, shows a growing movement. It wasn't like I had just made this up in my head. It was like other people were thinking this, other people were wanting to do something about it and not knowing what to do. Dickerson says communities are starting to take a second look and hopes others will consider history when making names. In Matthews, Derek Dollinger, Fox 46.